Welcome to Wrestling Talk, your home for everything wrestling. I'm your host, Classic Chris, and on this episode, we got some TNA news. That's right, TNA Knockout and leader of the Dollhouse, Awesome Kong, was released by TNA. Kong was sent home from the UK tour on the first night following a backstage incident with Matt Hardy's wife, Rebel Hardy, Rebel Sky, whatever you want to call her. Apparently, it got physical. TNA issued a statement saying, We conducted an investigation and determined releasing Awesome Kong is the appropriate action in this case. Kong has been a great contributor to TNA and helped solidify the Knockouts as the best female wrestling division in professional wrestling. We thank her and wish her well. Awesome Kong tweeted out about her release. My time this round in TNA was fun. Time for me to move on to other things. Hashtag release. Hashtag head held high. Rebel Hardy tweeted out a pic of herself smiling and laughing when the news was broken. The tweet has been deleted and taken off her timeline, but I'm going to show you guys the picture. Okay, to me, this is very childish. Something a kid would do. Like what, you're happy that someone lost their job? Like, come on. Like, did, And here's a question I'm going to ask the viewers. Did anyone know of Rebel Sky before she married Matt Hardy? I know I didn't. It's a shame that uh, Kong got released. I liked watching her. Um, it could have been good for TV to put them in a feud together. You know, use that real life heat. But it's tough working with someone you don't like. Because Kong being Kong, you know, would have worked her a little bit stiff. And is there anything wrong with that right now? Because everything that's transpired, it seems like the Hardys are running TNA right now. And I'm a big Matt Hardy fan. But, like, I'm sorry, but who's your wife in the wrestling business? Compared to Awesome Kong. Like, look at the matches that Kong has had in TNA. Like, uh, TNA even said she helped solidify the Knockouts division. So, uh, to me, um, Kong should not have been released. And I'm happy that she's like she doesn't really give a shit, as you could tell, with her ha with her uh, tweet saying, hashtag head held high. Uh, so, I want to know, guys, what do you think? Uh, should TNA have released Kong? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Like the video. Subscribe. And remember to keep watching Wrestling Talk with Classic Chris. Today's episode is sponsored by Crossfire Wrestling's Meltdown. March 20th at the Merida Community Center. The Dinner Dynasty begins. Two huge main events. See the man beast Rhino taking on the monster Congo Kong. Cody Diener defends his Crossfire Heavyweight Championship against Pepper Parks. Tickets still available. March 20th, Crossfire Wrestling.